Oh no, she didn't! Oh yes, yeah, she did! No Hey, 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 it's your girl So So. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my previous video on my review of when I went to Hakkasan. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we're once again going to enter the realm of finances and money and my spending. Yay! So today I am going to finally pay off my overdraft. So for those who don't know, I went to Newcastle University and during my first year at uni, I took out an overdraft. My parents um, were against it, but because they were worried that I would go into debt and basically ruin my credit rate. But for those who actually don't know or who weren't too sure about the, like the interest and stuff like that, like if it's a student account, you actually do not pay any interest. I was with Barclays and I'm pretty sure it's the same like all round other banks and if you're a student account and you go and you want to have an overdraft there is no interest rate on it so you and your bank have both agreed that one there's no interest rates and two you have to pay it back basically so my parents are very against it but this was something that i knew that i needed to take out because i knew that i needed help in terms of saving as well for when i was going to canada in my second year so i made i made a decision to take it out and my plan before Rona happened, my plan was I was going to pay off in Easter because I was going to work like for those for those four weeks while obviously doing my essays and stuff like that for uni and work during that time and just pay off and then during summer I can save money for drama school. But obviously these these events didn't happen and we're still in a pandemic and yeah <laughs> money is just very very tight or was very tight. I mean it still is but yeah let's we'll get we'll get into that later on so i luckily got called back to work and it pays weekly so that makes it easier for me in terms of you know just saying okay every week i'll put aside 200 pounds so that was basically what i did so i made this plan at the beginning of july i was fairly broke then so i couldn't you know actually start saving properly because i sat i sat loads of things i had to pay for and just loads of things where it just meant there was just going to be a lot of cash loss and I, and I helped my dad um, with something to do with our house and you know renovation so you know that kind of set me back a bit but yeah so I did it and just literally last week I got up to 500 and I halved it to 250 like 250 last week and now all I have is 250 pounds left to pay out of my 1000 overdrafts like money thing that, does that make sense i hope so but basically all you, all you guys need to basically need to know is that all i have to pay now is 250 pounds and it, it feels surreal getting to hit getting to this point because i remember just saying oh yeah i'm going to pay off i'm going to pay off and obviously it never happened and i felt a bit disheartened so it feels great to know that bit by bit i finally did it and yeah so the whole point of this video is for you guys to actually just join me in my final like I don't know battle in my final stage just, just like basically the final step of me closing my overdraft um, account and just basically trying to save from now on and from now so just me trying to save moving forward from today like properly this time so that you know I can have some money in the pot for drama school next year so yeah let's call them up alrighty so they said, because last time I called them last week, they said that it's probably easier for me to log onto the Barclays app and then call them directly from there because then I go through the security that way. So I think I have to say, is it coronavirus help? No, technical help with, okay. Let's do this. Okay. They probably think, why is this bitch always calling us every day? Holding. Can you guys hear it? I'll just find your details. You're at the top menu. For balances, press one. Uh -huh. Account activity, two. Payments, three. What you are calling about today. 
overdraft. Are you calling to discuss an overdraft? Yes. No. If you are calling about our government-backed loan schemes, if you've not done so already, we recommend that you visit our website, barclays.co.uk slash business for further information on how to check your eligibility. That number again is 0800 515 462. For anything else, please continue to hold. I fucking hate it when I did this. When I first started to obviously to call them to reduce my overdraft i pressed the wrong thing one time and when i tell you i was on the phone for an hour so i left work yeah and i called them and i kid you not sorry for the wait we'll get you to our customer service team as quickly as we can okay stop being rude and interrupting me and i kid you not like i was literally 10 minutes away from home and they still hadn't answered my call to be fair i called the customer service like lines so i think that's why so I think that's why it took so long whereas you know if you actually just go directly to the overdraft team it's just quicker because I don't think a lot of people are calling to do with it's just to do with overdrafts you know it's a little note if you're ever on the phone with your bank or whatever and they give you loads of options choose the option that is very very like what's the word not obscure but like it's just very niche if that makes sense make it as niche as you can when you say Oh, this is why I'm calling basically. Just saying, just saying. Three days later. Uh, I'm just going to talk about my overdraft and possibly just um, closing it now. Yeah, no problem at all. We can do that for you. Um, what is your overdraft limit at the moment? Um, I recently just changed it like two days ago to 250. I see, okay, but you just want to take it down to zero. Yeah, yeah, I just want to close it completely. Your full name as well, please. Satonyo so, Uche Chiku Ayika. And your date of birth? 18, 12, 19, 98. And your mother's maiden name. Okay, so you're on the student's account. So, yeah, so um, on our system, because it's a student's account, it won't allow me to put the overdraft to zero, it'll, it'll allow me to put it to 10. However, every customer's account anyway comes with a 15 pound number. So that, doesn't really make any difference to be fair, but that's just how it will reflect on the account. It's okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, so does that mean um, I basically paid it off apart from £10 then, basically? Um, sort of, yeah. I mean, get that talk. Okay, cool. Okay, so get that talk. Talk to you now. The um, overdraft has been uh, taken off. Yeah, and you will see a confirmation after as well as the pounds. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> I was so quick. Like, oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I want to cry. <laughs> but I'm trying my best not to fucking cry. <laughs> Like, when I tell you, it has been a struggle. Like, such a struggle just to even get to this point. Like, when I first got to 500, I was like, oh my god, wow, I did that. And then I got to 250, and now 10 pounds, but basically zero. It's, it's just an undone. I, I can't even explain how I feel right now. Like, I literally feel so fucking free. I feel so free right now. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I did it guys. I did it. <laughs> um yeah. So that's done. And thank you guys for watching this and getting this far with me in my journey to not being in debt. <laughs> like honestly, if you guys if any of you guys are in the same boat as me or we are in the same boat that I was in literally just 10 seconds ago just keep on going for it it's a pandemic so don't like beat yourself up if you're not where you want to be financially emotionally spiritually like all of that like honestly take it at your own pace because I used to feel really guilty because I'm just gonna lay out now I don't pay my phone bill <laughs> like and I live with my parents so it makes it easier for me just to you know actually save like my aim definitely after uni was to always you know take responsibility and finally you know pay my own bills help with the bills at home like that's always just been something that i knew that i would have to do and i was looking forward to i was like actually looking forward to you know adopting basically but the pandemic made everything just go haywire like everything was everywhere so i did feel a bit like guilty sitting home you know just sitting there and using my phone and literally my mom is paying my bills for me but what I'm especially trying to say is take things at your own pace because no one knows what you're going through on, apart from you and that's just a fact that will always remain true so literally do your own pace I did it literally I just did it so I'm pretty sure that you probably can if you just keep if you just put as much effort as you, as you can possibly can no sorry if you can put as much effort as you possibly can and you believe in yourself and you just have a great support system because my sisters my friends they're all pushing me to like so so you're so close you can do it like it was great to have a great support system and this just feels amazing just to have that weight just taken off of me like obviously i have my debt as in you know tuition fees to worry about but that's just something that doesn't matter right now like this is the now I, my now was to get rid of the overdraft and I did it and I'm so happy and I'm going to buy some alcohol I'm, I'm joking because I have no money now <laughs> but yeah so I'm quite excited for my next adventure and I hope you guys will be here for it so yeah I have no nails why am I doing this I'm broke help me I'm poor no <laughs> but I'm happy broke but happy should that be my new tag <laughs> I'm joking but yeah thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you next time see you next time and i'll see you guys next time hey hey, hey it's your girl so so signing out broke but happy yeah, yeah, yeah. School up, pop, pop, doo 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 doo. School up, pop, pop, doo doo doo. School up, school up, school up, school up.